Hello, my name is Gerardo Zavala, and I'm here to present to you the Prevent Safety Device Diagnostics. We are a group of safe automation entrepreneurs, and we want to propose a solution to maintain your operators in a safer work environment within the industrial workplace. Our product will help with preventive maintenance. We are offering you the Prevent SDD. We are asking for $5 million to start with the prototype and launch the final product. Our team is composed by experts in the safety field. Just think about how the population is growing and also the demand of products. This will need to make the industries produce faster and in higher quantity. The potential for our product is amazing. It will approach $352 billion by 2024. The benefits is that you will be part of a great product. Just imagine an industrial site with no fatal injuries and making a lot of money because they are able to know before a machine fail, fails so they can repair to prevent any downtime, which we all know it costs a lot of money. And you can be part of that. The problem that we are so solving is diagnosing the failure of safety relays and electrical equipment in a manufacturing facility, also reducing fatal injuries and downtime. In the first chart, you can see that we are showing you the top 10 United States manufacturing sector in million of dollars for 2017. And you can see that all these top 10 are a great potential customers. Also, in 2018, the pharmaceutical sector had um, the biggest job growth of 12.5%. The market for our size is huge. In 2018, it worth $2.3 billion pretty much about 11.4% of total output U.S. economy. And in 2016, they were registered 250,000 manufacturing firms. So you can see we have a, a great market size where we can sell our product. The solutions that we are proposing is um, maintain operators in a safe environment. We perform a study based in information from the United States Department of Labor and the fatal injuries by exposure to harmful substances or environments or contact with object and equipment started to increase in 2018 and will continue as population keep growing due to an increase in demand. That is how we are going to solve this with our product. <clears throat> also, we will increase the efficiency of manufacturing sites by warnings for preventive maintenance and Finally, we are going to reduce or eliminate the downtime due to failing equipment. And our product, um, also the, another solution, is that we are going to detect approachment uh, equipment failures with real-time data. And what makes our product special and different? We are going to use real-time data to predict and prevent failures in the facility. And we are going to use that with all the data gathered from the machinery, but also we are going to train algorithms that will be built in in the in the in the logic of the of the device. But one thing that is very important is that these pre predicting algorithms can be retrained if something changes in the manufacturing lines, so you can adapt your device. Uh, talking about the competition. Uh, there are three mainly competitors, uh, Siemens, which you all know it's a multi-billion company. They are specialized in different sectors and now they want to enter the industry 4.0 uh, with their initiative of a smart factory. Then there's ABB, which they are focused mainly in robotics and power automation technology. But recently they acquired Berneker and Rainer and they are planning to make a place uh, in the, into the safe automation industry. And finally, it's Alan Bradley, which they are leaders in safety devices. They have a long history and people know their products and the reliability of them. This is the only company with a product that possesses any direct competition, but we are offering a better way of diagnosing system failures. With the use of smart factory algorithms to predict an event of failing equipment, our device will be super efficient and capable to collect lots of metrics from all the relays and electrical components in the control boards. Also, it will be capable of bringing all the different control boards from the factory into a unique reporting interface. Okay, so the market leverage distribution. 
we will identify 100 prospects within the six, uh, first six months of our product launch and uh, we, will offer them the, we will be offering them some benefits of buying our product. Also, we will invest in automation fairs, artificial intelligence fair, and industry 4.0 events to show our products and the greatness of it. And finally, uh, we will work on arrangements with large manufacturing companies to provide the first prototypes as test samples so they can engage with our product and we are sure that they will want more of our product. Uh, due to the present times that we are living with the pandemic, we will try to offer our product mainly to pharmaceutical sector or pharmaceutical companies because we know that they will be the less affected of this um, event. Our business model, um, with the $5 million, what we are going to do is develop um, all the phases of our product from quarter one to quarter four. And finally, we are going to launch uh, our product in the fifth quarter and with a price per unit of 1,500. And we will use the investment for necessary equipment, labor, design and development, marketing and more. We plan to get earnings from the sales in this fifth quarter of about 6 millions. That means selling 4,000 devices. But the great thing of our product is that some functionalities could be added to the interface and dashboard to increase the price. Also, the same site can get more than one device for different manufacturing lines. So this income that we are expecting, it's not only mainly due to selling 4,000 devices. We can add different functionalities to the, to, the, to the device or we can sell to the same company many devices. The team is composed by Gerardo Zavala, um, which I am the analytics expert and I will be in charge of uh, developing the predicting models and training them and also um, um, doing, building the, the dashboards and the interface with the digital team. Taylor Williams will be in charge of the quality of our product and making sure our product meet the quality standards. And finally, Rodney Reed, he's the safety expert and he has a lot of experience in the safety uh, automation of industries. Uh, the status and time that we are proposing is that, uh, that our product will be ready to launch in, in quarter four. Uh, we are going to do with the money that we want from you. It's we're going to do the design and development, the cost estimates. Then in the in the uh, third task, we're going to do the marketing, which will be the, the looking for potential customers, beta testing, getting feedback, in incorporating this feedback to our product to make the final launch. And finally, the sales. A second look of our product. So, our product that prevents safety device diagnostics is going to, tra to transform the industrial companies. It will help them to detect failing equipment in the workplace. How it will do that? By using real-time data to collect information of equipment and alerting workers or maintenance uh, engineers when possible failures are to occur. So they will be not only reacting when something happens, they will be able to to predict and, and, and get ahead of that. Um, this will eliminate fatal injuries and decrease the amount of downtime and failing equipment in manufacturing sites because we will be able to know before this happens. So a, a, an operator or a maintenance engineer that will be working in this site can know if something could happen and they will be cautious with that machinery. Also, downtime costs a lot of money to industries right now because they will need to stop all the manufacturing line, get that ready, and then put it again to, to, to start running. So don't hesitate, be part of this great product and you won't regret. Thank you.